This is Bestos Asks with Pastor Steve. Hello and welcome to Bestos Asks. Yay! So, Mr. Pastor Steve. Yes, Bestos. What is that thing called that is blue and wet? Blue and... You mean water? Yes, water. That is it. Okay. And what is it called when it is all bunched up together like something bigger than a cup? Like a ocean or a sea? Oh, that is it, a sea. All right, all right. So how do you cross a sea? Well, a lot of people just use a boat. What oh, don't have a boat, how else? Uh, well, you could cross on a bridge. What, there is no bridge. And I'm not allowed to use Hans powder tools ever since I saw the hole in the TV. Okay, so no bridge. Well, um, I guess you could just swim across. Hmm, but I don't like getting wet. Well, then, Bestos, you're kind of all out of options. So there is no other way? Well, there was this one time in the Bible where God split the Red Sea so that the Israelites could cross over to the other side. Well, I want to do that. Can I hear the story? Of course you can. Just watch. There once was a man named Moses who led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. The Israelites stood by the shore of the Red Sea knowing that the Egyptian army was coming for them. And God spoke to Moses and said, Lift up your staff and stretch your hand out over the sea. The Lord opened a path through the water, and the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea with walls of water on each side. When all the Israelites had reached the other side, the Lord said to Moses, Raise your hand over the sea again. And Moses raised his hand over the sea, and the waters rushed back into place. That was pretty impressive. Yeah, I'd say so. But it would never work for me. Well, the story is miraculous, and it, and it was also for a very specific reason. You see, God had to open the Red Sea so that the Israelites could cross over to the other side to get away from the mean guys, the Egyptians who were chasing them. But that doesn't mean that God can't do miraculous things in your life today. In fact, God will do miraculous things. We just have to have faith and trust Him. You are right, Mr. Pastor Steve. But that would still never work for me. Well, why not? Because I don't have a stick like Moses. Oh, Bestos, it, it wasn't about the stick. The stick isn't what parted the Red Sea. It was God who parted the Red Sea. Oh, well, that changes everything. Bestos. Why do you need to get across a sea anyway? No, I don't. Well, then why are you asking me all these questions about crossing a sea? Oh, because I wanted to ask you to get me a stick for my birthday! Yay! Wait, wait a minute. You mean you went through this whole thing just to ask me to get you a stick for your birthday? Yes, I really want a stick, but Han said that I can't have one. Why not? Because I stuck the last one through our refrigerator and all of our juice got warm. Okay, I, I'm not even gonna ask. Well, that's good because this is Bestos Asks and I'm the one doing the asking. Well, thanks for joining us guys and we'll see you next time. Yay, and next time I will have a stick. We'll talk about that later. But, but you said. I didn't say anything about you getting a stick. What, I imagine it, you say that I could get a stick? That's not the same thing as me actually saying I would get you one. No.